black hole is usually a place in space where no light exists, making it all but impossible to capture on film. Despite this, a team of astrophysicists have managed to photograph a black hole in our galaxy, the Milky Way, for the first time. Palab Ghosh reports. For decades, astronomers have been on a quest, searching the skies and into the very heart of our galaxy for a mysterious and elusive black hole. Now they found it and taken this picture. The black hole is at the center of the image. It's revealed by swirling hot matter, pulled in by powerful gravitational forces. Ziri Yunsei is among the 300 scientists involved in the project. I think it's really cool and amazing that we can even see a black hole. It's extremely far away and it's dark. You're not meant to see a black hole, it traps light. And yet here we are capturing something that's meant to be invisible, seeing at the literal edge of space and time. I think that's truly remarkable. A black hole is created by a dead star collapsing in on itself. It has such strong gravity, not even light can escape its incredible pull. Black hole is the glue which binds our galaxy together. It's part of the evolution of our galaxy. It explains where we came from. It will explain where we're going to. More than half a million computer simulations have been run and compared to the actual image. Scientists believe that this video reconstruction is the closest to what the black hole in our galaxy looks like. No single telescope can see the object, so several have been linked together to create a giant observatory on Earth. Here, high in the mountains of southern Spain, scientists have been part of that search. We're in the heart of a telescope that's 40 years old. Inside is a man who came up with the idea of photographing a black hole when he was a student in the 1990s. He was told by his professors that it would be impossible. It's a fulfillment of a dream and the beginning of a new chapter, actually, studying black holes in great detail. They're no longer fantasy. We can test all our understanding and our models. We can do precision astrophysics. How does it make you feel now that you've finally produced this image? It's, you know, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, 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 yeah, it's a dream come true after 25, 30 years. For researchers, this is just the beginning. Theory has now become reality, and they can now kick on to find out how this black hole really works and even how our own galaxy came to be. Palab Ghosh, BBC News. Well, earlier I spoke to one of those scientists involved in the project, Dr. Ziri Yunsei, about how exciting this photograph is. Have a listen. This has been five years in the making, and finally we've been able to share this with the world, so we're just ecstatic. Yeah, and, and in Palab's piece, you were briefly talking about what exactly a black hole is. Yeah. I mean, just give us a sense, because this is just, we're just talking about one, but there are, there are countless. Oh, yes, yeah, so that there, there are many, many black holes in the universe, but these supermassive black holes, which lurk in the hearts of galaxies like our own Sagittarius A star that we've seen today, they're quite unique. There aren't so many of those, and the reason why we're looking at them is because they're so big we have a chance to be able to capture them with telescopes. And that is quite significant that that is, has happened now. I right. mean Palab was just saying something that was a, sort of an idea or a theory has really become a reality. That's right. Before, before these images, so this one in 2019 and now today's our own black, supermassive black hole, they were just theoretical ideas. Now there was a lot of evidence to suggest that they were real but nothing direct. And so how do you know for sure that it's a black hole? You take a picture. And that's what we've done. I mean, when you think about pop culture or our language, where we talk about a black hole being swallowed up yeah. in a black hole, it's something that sucks everything in. Right. What, what does it actually do in space? So it, it does both, actually. So it does suck stuff in, but it also spews a lot out, too. And that's really interesting. So you see, like, jets in some galaxies, not in our own, but you do in many other galaxies. And that's really important because it being able to spew out matter into the intergalactic uh, medium is a very important part of the role that black holes play in in, in governing the evolution of the universe, actually. So they don't just eat, they also burp, so to speak. <laughs> and is that, that dangerous? Well, not for us. They are very powerful, violent objects in terms of their environment, but they're also responsible in many ways for, for, for the, the being anchors of galaxies and, in a, in a sense, for hosting life like ourselves in our own. 
And so um, let's just have a look actually of this uh, live shot because this is in Washington. This is where they're making this announcement about this photograph. Um, so, I mean, again, this is the very beginning of something. Mm -hmm. and, and when we say the beginning of something, the beginning of what? What does this teach us? So this is, I think, in many respects, the beginning of a new era in our understanding of black holes. So objects which were purely theoretical entities are now physical things that we can observe. We can see the matter that's orbiting around it at near light speed. It's incredibly hot and producing all of this light. And that matter that we're resolving uh, we're seeing its death throes moments before it crosses this event horizon where nothing can escape. And this is a literal edge of space and time. The laws of physics as we understand them will literally break down there. And we're seeing so close to that now, the edge of the universe, so to speak. That's uh, Zari, uh, Zazi Yunsei, astrophysicist there.